Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to take your scribble blotter effect and make it glow. This tutorial does not show you how to actually do the scribble effect itself. Check the video description for my other video where I'm showing you step by step exactly how to make this effect. This video is just to show you how to make it glow and really stand out. Okay, so I have my fully finished scene here. As you can see, I've already gone through and added keyframes with drawings at different parts. And now we're just going to go and add this glowing effect that's just really going to help sell this and make it look a lot cooler. So we're going to do this with compositing. Um, if you've never done any compositing before, if you've never seen nodes, you know, don't be alarmed. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. It's going to be really simple and straightforward if you just follow along with what I'm doing. So at the top here, you have these different uh, layouts that Blender has, and one of them is compositing. So I'm just going to left click on compositing. And you don't see anything at first, but up here you can click on use nodes. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of separate out the image, the video file from our drawing and then put a glow on the drawing and then mix them back together. So actually first I'm going to go back to the layout tab and in this right panel you see here I have G pencil and this is my layer that has my actual drawing. So with that selected and my mouse over here I'm going to hit M for move and click on new collection. I'm going to click in here I'm just going to call it drawing and so hit enter and then OK again. So you can see I have two different collections now and that's not absolutely necessary, but it's going to make things uh, clearer for us. So, and then also up here you have view layer. We're going to add another view layer and it named it dot zero zero one. I'm going to click in here and just name it drawing again, just to make things really obvious. So what we're going to do here is in the drawing layer, which we're in, I'm just going to uncheck that collection that has everything else in it and leave the drawing. And up here we see this little icon I'm going to click in there and click on view layer, which is the other layer. And I'm just going to uncheck the drawing. So now we have, if I go between the two, you see one that just has the drawing, one that just has uh, the video. One important thing you have to do to get this to work correctly is let's click and go back into drawing. And let's see, which one is it in? It's under the little camera icon here. Down here where it says film, click on transparent. You have to do that. Um, don't forget that step. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the compositing tab and you're not seeing anything happen right now and that's because I'm going to click on this render layer just you can left click off and left click on this render layer. We're not seeing anything but if I hit F12 to do a render you can see it actually did. I'm going to close this box and it doesn't always pop up right away but let's go ahead and do this. At the very top left click and drag this little corner area to give ourselves another window and where you have this little drop down I'm going to change it to a image editor and then back in this right panel I'm going to hit N to give us some more space. I'm going to hold shift hit A under search I'm going to type in viewer and I'm going to click on this viewer one and just put it here. I'm going to left click on this guy hit G move it over and this viewer node just lets us see what what's going on so let me click and drag into the viewer. So now we're seeing it in the background. I actually don't like this. It can be kind of confusing. Some people like it, but I'm going to click and turn that off. In this left panel though, I'm going to change where it says new and open. I'm going to click this little icon to the left and click on the viewer node. So if I use my middle mouse to scroll out, I can see the whole thing. So currently we just are seeing the video. But if I left click on this guy, hit G, move it up. I'm going to hold shift, hit D, bring this down. And I'm going to change this view layer I'm going to click on drawing and then if I left click the image and drag it into the image of the viewer node over here you can see we're just seeing the drawing only. Okay so now we want to mix together our drawing with this. So I'm going to hold shift hit A type in the search and type in mix hit enter and I'm going to just with it highlighted here you can see if I left click while it's glowing like that you'll see um, that automatically connects these up for us. And I'm gonna click and drag the image from over here. And let's see if the bottom's right. Sometimes mix which one's on top and which one's bottom. So either way though, we have to change the mix value. Just go ahead and change that to add. 
Um, so yeah, I've got these in the wrong place. If you left click and drag this one, put it here, it'll switch those for you. And now look, we have these stacked up on each other. So you're like, that's not that exciting. But now if we input other nodes right here between this connection, we can actually affect just uh, our drawn on effect. So if I hold shift hit A, you'll see under filter, we've got some different options. And one of them is glare. If I click on glare, and then hover over that line and put it here, you'll see if I zoom in, nothing's happening currently, but that's because we need to change this threshold. Threshold just makes us that only things that are a certain brightness glow or not. In our case, we're only working on just our drawing layer. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that to zero. And you can see right away, we have something happening. So I'm gonna leave you all to play with these settings and find um, what you're happy with, but I will give a few notes. Um, there's a quality setting here. I found the best results at medium. Every once in a while I did high, but it also made my computer struggle sometimes. So I would leave it at medium. Um, I, you, know, you can play with some of these other values, but like I said, you definitely want threshold to be zero. And another thing to know is there's actually different types of glares here. There's ghosts, which actually is a pretty cool effect. I could see people getting, um, you know, really cool results with this. And also keep in mind, we can stack these. So I'm gonna show you actually doing, by the end, two different glares. So you can see right now, it's not really like glowing much, but you could put another glare on top of this to make it glow. Um, but let me just keep going through and showing you the different effects. Streaks is pretty cool. Um, let's see, fog glow is more of just like a standard glow. You can change the size a bit. Um, but I actually liked Simple Star. Um, I found it had some cool results and the iterations would kind of just make it more simple and more complex. If I go up to like, I guess five's the max, you can see there's more, but I kind of liked how it looked with just like the simple one. It's a nice glow. Another thing to know is if you're clicked on just this node and you hit M, you can see it turned off and turned on. So you can kind of see where you're at, but let's go, let's see. I also kind of want to show you streaks is pretty cool. Let me change this angle offset because it had a kind of effect where you could see where it was coming from, kind of. Again, I don't want to spend too much time getting to the settings, because I can leave that all for, for you all to do. But let me go ahead and do the simple star, and put the iterations down to one. And you know, that's pretty cool already, but let me, I'm gonna zoom out with middle mouse here. I'm gonna left click on this one, shift left click on this one, hit G, move it over. I'm gonna hold shift, hit A, click on search, and I'm gonna type in a glare. This is my no, I just specifically want a glare. And I'm gonna click and put it right there. So if you see, now they're stacking on top of each other. So I've got another glow on top of that one. I'm gonna go down to fog glow, take the threshold to zero. I'm gonna zoom in and let me do the before and after. So I'm gonna hit M with this node selected and M with it coming back. And you can see we're getting a pretty cool effect going on here. And so that's really all you need to know um, to actually make the effect, but let me make sure you know how to save it out properly. So as it is right now, we only have, so basically this node here just kind of has this final composite image and it's going to our viewer node so we can see it over here, but it's not currently going into this composite node. So I'm gonna left click on the composite node, I'm gonna hit G, left click just to move it over here. And if I click and drag from the image here to the composite, this actually will make it so that when you output your render animation, uh, Blender will actually save it as we have currently. So I don't wanna go into output uh, settings. If you watch my other video, I, I think I go into it more in depth, but if you go to the little printer looking icon, output properties, just make sure you have you know, the file format set how you like, and it's actually going somewhere, you've named it. And at this point, all you gotta do is hit render animation and you're all done, it will automatically Render this out, compositive with your glow, and you're done. Uh, I would love to see your results. You know, feel free to share them in the comments. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help motivate me to keep making videos. All right, have a good day.